Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been talking to a lot of my subscribers and they've been saying that I am kind of known as the reg server guy, like one of the few people who make reg server content. I mean, I'm not the only one, but I am one of the few because most people play in reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and just run with that narrative and just say that, hey, we're going to make reg server content. So this is the familiar guide for reg server, aka like Scania, Aurora, Elysium, Bera. Uh, Bear is the most populated, so we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to ramble on and on if I don't get into it. So um, you open your familiars through your equip tab, right? And then you click on this, you double click on a row row. Um, if, so for uh, for starters, if you, um, uh, if you literally have not touched familiars ever, you want to go to your um, badges um, because you want to collect all of these badges. And what are badges really is just it's like a, a list of you know familiars. And the beauty of Reg Server is that you can just buy all of these in the auction house, or you can just buy service, which is basically people get an entire collection of um, these familiar cards. You collect them, you you know double click them and add them to your collection, and then you just complete uh, complete these. Uh, uh, badge sets which give you like you know ignore defense just like extra stats like one percent attack magic attack pretty nice so you it, tldr is that you need 10 badges unlocked um but just by collecting all of these um and then, then you get all three of your slots so if you just really if you just started a new character for example um and you're new to the game in barra whatever reg server um you only get one slot and then you unlock your second slot getting like one or two three badges and you unlock all three badges from uh uh 10 slots from badges so just remember you got to collect these little and some of them are like really easy look at this like potted sprout you just need three of these these drop from um the edelstein mobs which is like right over here it's like the beginner area like the potted plants like right here yeah so <laughs> you just collect all these but then some of them are kind of harder because you kind of need like i don't know like some of these are kind of rare so you just kind of buy them from people on the server so we're going to go ahead and just go into the tiers and like the potentials. So as you can see here, I have three of these familiars. These are my go-to familiars. Um, it is 40% boss damage. It is 40% boss damage. And it is 40% boss damage and like 5% dex. That's the only thing notable. Um, so familiar cards are, our red familiar cards are very hot topic right now. Uh, Reboot is like, oh my god, uh, I would love uh, red cards. And unfortunately, they're not getting it, I don't think. But a lot of people have complained and been like, oh my god, I need reboot needs red cards. I mean, maybe one, they'll, one day they'll get it, but I don't think they will. Um, it's been a huge like pride and joy of reg server because it's literally like, okay, we'll go into the auction house, right? Or the auction house, sorry. We'll go in the cash shop right now, right? So <laughs> people ask, or not people ask, but people know what red cards are. Like, I think most people do know what red cards are. You just have a red card in the familiar, oh, sorry, it's not called red card. It's called red familiar card. So click on a red familiar card, a mysterious card that's said to reset a, f excuse me, I just burped. Mysterious card that's said to reset a familiar's potential has a low chance of increasing the familiar's rank. So yes, if you're curious, I have, um, you can tear up with this, but it's not recommended if you don't want to do like the training method of uh, leveling up your familiars. Um, basically, I have tiered up a unique familiar on accident, by the way, fully on accident, by the way. Um, this tiered me up from unique to legendary, so that is possible. Um, I don't recommend doing it. It says it, it literally says right here it has a low chance of increasing the familiar's rank. So I don't recommend trying this unless you have a lot of money in Rex Server. Because <laughs> Rex Server is kind of pay to win, you know. So, but yeah, um, this is what it does. It's very good. And then I'll, let's just go over the other things you can buy in the cash shop for uh, Rex Server. Uh... Go to event. Now, where do you go? You go to packages. Out. No game. And you click on add slot. Now, where is it? Social. Where is it? convenience. All right. So familiar slot expansion coupon. This increases the familiar storage slots by five. Everyone gets like a hundred max by default, and then you can increase that to like I don't know, like two thousand. I'm pretty sure the number is two thousand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure it's two thousand. Now this um, familiar breakthrough card is, I'm pretty sure this is useless. I would not recommend using this. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm like 90% sure no one buys this. Um, familiar packs are not a good thing to buy. The only thing you really care about is uh, red familiar cards. Basically, if you're curious what a red familiar card is, it just rerolls your potential. It's basically like a cube for your familiars. Um, that is basically what it is. Nothing else to say there, but um, familiar slot is just for convenience, just to have extra slots so you can, you know, 
so let's say you want to open like 2,000 familiar cards and extract all those. You just want to buy this. Um, it's like one, it's like one K NX. So that's like one dollar in NX if you want to buy that. And then there's red familiar cards. Um, these are just gonna re-roll your potential, and it has a small chance, or like a really small chance, of tearing up your thing. So. So yeah, pretty much, um, unless you're living under a rock, everyone knows that in Reboot, you have to literally um, train to level up your familiars. This is the free-to-play way to do it. But if you're in reg server, um, you just buy red cards. Um, let's say you have like a unique familiar like this. Let's look at this uh, familiar, for example, right? We have, uh, let's look at Tiger Sensei. So Tiger Sensei, or it's called uh, Red Tiger Familiar. It continually restores a large amount of HP to nearby allies plus luck uh, six. It's it's just for, I use this familiar just for healing, but let's just say let's just use it as an example, right? So this is a unique familiar. If I really wanted to, I could tier it up to legendary with red cards. It would probably take like a pack of like I don't know like 50, 100. Sounds like 50 KNX, 100 KNX. Like I don't know, I'm probably even more. Um, I I do believe I got really lucky. This is the familiar that I um. I tiered up from unique to legendary. I was like trying to get a, a HP line, so I just bought red cards, and I was like, oh wow, it tiered up to legendary. So I was like, wow, okay, I'll fucking take it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that is an option for us reg server players. God bless. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. It, it sucks that reboot doesn't have red cards, but I mean it is kind of a feature of uh, reg server to you know have the accessibility of pay using our money our wallet our hard-earned money to you know progress faster because that is the opposite of reboot that is the opposite design of reboot but yeah like the main way that you basically get your familiars up is by collecting same copies of the same familiar to level them up so let's say i wanted to level up like uh uh, most people did run these, so these are the Forbarions. This is from Limina, and if you guys know, um, for example, let's say in Bera, right? Bera is infested with these Kana farmers. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to put this in like a non like uh, derogatory way, but it is true. It is true. You go to the Arcane River, you go to uh, Tenebris, you click on Labyrinth of Suffering. Or sorry, not not that Limina. And then this is like this entire area. I think was or it used for a very long time. It was infested with a lot of Kana farmers who then. Um, they farm there, and then they get meso. And I'm not gonna say what- I mean, everyone knows what they do with the meso, but let's just say they get familiar cards, and they sell them in the auction house. So if you're looking for um, familiar cards, you go into the auction house, and you want to extract them. Um, it's all in the auction house. Alright, so we have jump cutted to the auction house. So this is the Forbarion familiar. So let's just go into the- okay, go to- so what you want to do is you want to go to use items, you want to click on just type in item name type in familiar and then to sort them out from lowest um, to highest you price range could be probably like let's just say like 99999 uh that's just to make it easy just type in 100k 111 make sure you get your zeros right um and then let's do let's do 50 let's do 30 30 000 by let's say like 100 111 and you have these really cheap familiar okay these honestly these are not that cheap i've seen them really cheap i've seen them for like 40k uh mesos before each so it would be just be like a f 4 million mesos per stack so right now it's not that cheap but uh maybe i can get it even cheaper i don't i don't think so i don't think so but yeah these are these are currently the cheapest familiars um okay so what happens what i'm actually predicting here is that um the Kana, so what happened is that a lot of Kana farmers got banned in Limina, so I think they resorted to going to Esfera. Um, if you guys don't know, Esfera is the level 235 area, and these are the familiars that drop from that area. Um, these these are like the spiders. So I guess people are just making these familiars now and selling them in the auction house. Um, a lot of the Kana farmers are from Latin America, so they just make profit from, you know, getting the familiar cards from, uh, you know, they sell them they make profit so each stack of them gets like eight mil nine mil so yeah that is basically how people make some money in a reg server so nexon has kind of addressed like oh we're, we're trying to ban the the, the kana farmers in uh Barra. um so you know it, it has kind of been working i think a lot of them have been banned because a lot of them have been botting i'm pretty sure i'm not going to accuse all of them of, that, of botting but you know a lot of them have been banned um from botting um, we don't like macroers, we don't like botters, and even the people who train 
I'm getting off into a different tangent. I apologize. But a lot of people who train, like who bought to like level 290 have been banned as well. So people do get banned for botting. Um, I just want to address that, like just out of like completely like unhinged out of pocket. Like I think botting is bad. So I don't think you should bot and you will get caught for it. You will get banned for it. They will detect it. Like I promise you. Um, but holy shit, that was a different tangent. Um, but yeah, uh, you can buy familiar- TLDR, guys, you can buy familiars in the auction house. I think it's honestly, like, now, as of me recording this video, as of October 2023, I don't know. Like, I, I do know that the Lumina farmers have kind of, um, been, uh, deleted, like, nuked, like, Thanos snapped, you know what I mean? So I think that, you know, it may become less of meta, but you do need familiar cards to, um, you could basically make a unique, um, familiar card from this this is the free to play way but yeah oh yeah and one more thing before i get out of the auction house because i do want to address this so a lot of people have been wondering um they did like a legendary booster pack for familiars a probably 2022 this is maybe like a year ago more than a year ago maybe like a year and a half ago so people are wondering if this does come back and like obviously i can't answer yes or no because it's completely random but let's just say we want to type in like uh okay let's just, let's just type in familiar for example because then it'll show all the legendary familiars um you can straight up buy a legendary familiar this is another pride and joy of reg server. Um, it is very expensive though. Look at this. Yeah, like this is all of the people bought the legendary familiars. If you guys are wondering how I got mine, it is from that event. Um, I did make a lot of them. Excuse me, I'm drinking like a bubbly, sparkling water and it's like making me gassy. I just burped. Um, so yeah, um, you can buy legendary familiars in the auction house. I don't recommend doing it though because look how fucking expensive this is. This is like what? Like 80 billion messes for like one legendary familiar. Fuck off. No. Um, but yeah, how I got mine, it was during that event, and like, the uh, Legendary Familiars used to be like 4 billion mesos back then. Um, so yeah, it is honestly a lot better to just make them yourself, um, or just wait for the event to come back. I don't know if it will, but I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. There was a Legendary Booster Pack event for Familiars that came out in like April 2022, May, like before summer. It was around the Blooming Forest event, if you guys remember that. So that was us for Reg Server, but yeah. So going back to um, the Familiars, let's go back to setup. So, okay, so this is my setup, right? Um, you can buy presets. Let's go over the shop. Okay, let's go. I want to go over everything because I did make a familiar guide in the past and it was not like completely full in depth and like up to date. Um, so this is familiar essence or sorry, this is familiar points. So in order to get familiar points, you have to extract. So you go to uh, collection, you go to extraction right here. It's, this is very overwhelming, by the way, if you've never touched this before. Um, by the way, this is a good way to show off my slots. I have expanded my slots. Um, I did remember if, if I showed you guys in the auction house, sorry, no, no, sorry, I showed you guys in the cash shop that I expanded my um, familiar cards. So it, you start off, everyone starts off with 100, I'm pretty sure, like 100 slots. I expanded that by a little bit. So I have 230 slots. So I could, if I wanted to, I could open three, uh, 230 uh, slots. I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go into the auction house and just uh, do that real quick. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna type in familiar and we're gonna buy these spiders. So I'm just gonna buy like a stack of 100, bam. And then I'm gonna buy a stack of 100, bam. And then I'm gonna buy like 30. So I just gave somebody like some good old meso. Love that for them. Um, what they're gonna do with that meso? God knows what. But we all know it's not legal in its bannable offense. We'll say <laughs> we'll just say that. Um, God, I'm so brave for making this video, am I? No. But um, uh, red umbrella chair. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna just go ahead and open my. Um, so okay. So basically. I have that in my inventory, right? I have it in my use inventory. Um, we are going to open that. We're going to open that. And then we're going to open that. Mm, I don't have enough space, but I wanted to hit the 230 mark because I do have 230 slots. So what is I can't math. Uh, 29 plus 30, 59. There you go. So I have 230 um, familiars, uh, an army of spiders, really, in my inventory. So we're going to go ahead and extract them all, right? So if I extract all of them, it gives me 2,000 familiar points. So that will go to the shop, right? We're going to extract that, and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do this thing. And I did show this in the last video, but you want to hold down the escape key. You see how I'm just like spamming it? 
like you can just hold on to it put your finger on it and just hold on to it so it doesn't glitch you out because trust me if you don't do that you will get glitched out from extracting so just remember uh, make sure you do that so now that i have those points um familiar essence so when you summon your familiars let's go ahead and summon mine i'm going to turn on my um graphics so when you summon your familiars see i just got with the boss damage 120 boss damage for familiars god bless um you see this familiar gauge on the top right and well it so it has a limit like you can't have it summoned forever permanently indefinitely you have to keep using your familiar essence so you click on familiars and then you go to shop you go to um you buy familiar essences and then what this does it summons the summon it refills the summon gauge by 50 percent when used so this is the summon gauge gauge i don't know how to say it um it 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 eventually goes down to zero so you see 2000 on the top right and it goes down to zero so if you do want to keep them permanently summoned during bossing i mean the only time you would really use this is during bossing um you can also use it while training um but um yeah but um yeah let's go ahead and just go right into how you even open your familiars so i have it key binded so you do have your familiars in your beginner skill tab so you can drag it, yep, you can drag it, and then you can just put it on your keyboard, and I do put it on a random uh, button. Uh, definitely, I recommend key binding it. Um, I have it on F11, so yeah. But um, as a visual um, aesthetic guide, I guess, um, it, it, it is kind of obstructive to have your familiars out, so I do, most people, they like to turn on graphics and they put it down low. So as you can see here, it's just very... Uh, transparent so it's a lot easier to see during bossing it's not obstructive at all but um, I guess we can go over the familiar lines now so let's go in open my familiars so I have presets right presets by the way you can add more presets there's a total of five presets you can add the presets this is familiar preset coupon familiar badge preset you don't really need this um, I will go over suspicious familiar at the very end because it's not really as urgent so ba the TLDR, the too long didn't read, um, basically is that legendary familiars have the absolute best lines. Like look how easy it is for me to roll boss damage. You can also get like critical damage, you can get percent attack, you can get IED, you can get um, you know a lot of good stuff. You can't like if you have rare, it's not gonna give you shit. Unique does give you decent stuff, like total dam like I guess you can get total damage from it. Um, you can get boss damage from Unique. Um, you can start getting boss damage from, uh, where is it? I'm pretty sure Epic, but I, I think they removed it. I'm not going to confirm it, but there's not that much information about familiars. That's why I wanted to make this video. <laughs> um, so where's my Junior Boogie? So yeah, this is Junior Boogie. This is Epic. As you can see, this is Epic. So I did roll this myself. Like 100%, I shit you not, I rolled this myself. This was probably like two years ago. So maybe a year or two ago, I don't know. So I did roll this myself. It is I I, I want to say it's possible to roll a, a boss boss damage on Epic, but I don't recommend doing it. Like it's really just really really low chance. So you really want to just roll boss damage in um, what most people do in reboot is that they just have it um, at unique. But uh, legendary has the most chance for the best possible lines possible. So <laughs> if you want to just you know get unique card and just keep buying red cards and just try to get to legendary that is possible if you do have that kind of budget but hey i'm not gonna tell you to do that but yeah um what else do i really have to go over i think i've covered a lot of things um a lot of burning questions for familiars um familiars legendary is the best unique is second best but it's not the best so you should probably go for the best but honestly since legendary familiars are so like inaccessible to reg server um you probably don't want to buy the legendary familiar sitting in the auction house right now because that is really overpriced um yeah i mean just wait for an event i don't know when they'll come back like i was a lot of people were asking me like how if it you know the legendary familiar packs would come back and like i i thought it would come back next year which is now this year from last year because it came back you know the legendary familiar pack was to, uh, 2022 and it hasn't come back so uh, i think that they're not really running with a schedule here so they they, pray, they it's possible that they will never bring back the legendary familiar pack um basically what the legendary familiar pack was is that you could buy it in the auction oh, sorry you could buy familiar packs in the cash shop and then you had a chance to get a legendary familiar um, you pretty much had a guaranteed chance to get a unique familiar, but it was like RNG chance, gamble chance to, you know, it was like 12,000 NX to buy like a legendary familiar, essentially. Um, wasn't guaranteed, I don't think, but yeah, it was a long time ago. They might bring it back, but I'm, I, I really could not predict next on schedule, so we just had to sit there and, you know, cross our fingers. But yeah, um, 
let's just let's just say um, that a lot of whales in Barra have access to legendary familiars because they have money. That is just the beauty of Reg Server. People have money. Um, I will say, use your money uh, responsibly. Um, I don't know if I missed anything. I'm gonna. I'm trying to see if I missed. Every, I got everything. So yeah, just ten badges to get all three slots. Um, oh yeah. Um, last thing I'll cover. Um, you there is a limit to um, familiar lines. So for example, let's say you roll like double boss damage in one familiar, right? That is possible. Let's say I roll like 40 40 boss damage. That is actually really possible, but it's it's actually it's not possible. It, it is it is possible, but it's very unlikely. Let's just say that. Um, it, rolling double line familiars is that's another thing. Rolling double line familiars is very difficult. I do not recommend doing it. You could buy red cards and spend like thousands of dollars. I've heard nightmare stories of people spending like thousands of dollars trying to get double line familiars in reg server with red cards and hold first of all first of all what the fuck what the fuck is wrong with you uh, <laughs> but people have that kind of money in reg server so that's just crazy um th those are whales those are whales you guys so don't 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 aspire to be like that stay in school don't do drugs um i mean if you if you're fuck if your name is like jeff bezos you could do that but like holy shit <laughs> okay so Back to what I was saying, there is a limit to your stats, so let's look at the attributes, right? So if I had more than 120 boss damage, the cap for boss damage is 120. There is a cap for IED, otherwise known as PDR or Ignore Defense. You cannot go past a certain amount for IED as well. I don't know the exact number, you guys, so just just don't overdo it with the IED. But for the bossing... Uh, boss damage uh it is the limit is 120 exactly so i have a perfect 40 40 40 40 times 3 is what 120 so i um am capped on that so i in the future i could try to roll double line familiars that would be more optimal but that's not really uh realistic for a lot of people so <laughs> i don't recommend doing that because like i said it literally if you have like uh, average luck you probably spent like thousands of dollars on red cards and that's just not ethical in this economy <laughs> so yeah um but yeah I, I think that pretty much covers everything um you can expand let's just recap everything you can expand your slots um with the uh familiar expansion slot in the cash shop if you really please it's not uh, it's not like you don't have to do it but it just makes things convenient if you're trying to extract a lot of familiars Remember, you can buy familiar cards in the auction house if you really need to. Um, I do think they ban Nexon ended up banding a lot of Kana farmers in the Limina area. So if you click on Limina, this is where all the Kana farmers were, and I think that they were all banned. Um, let me just go. <laughs> let me just go ahead and show you guys some content. Um, I want to see if they're actually banned. So let's go to Limina. Oh, that's not Lumina. My bad. That's Moonbridge. Um, let's <laughs> let's go to Limina. I'm gonna end the video like this. Uh, Limina. Uh, yeah, I could I could just transfer here. Okay, so let's go to uh, End of the World One Four. I'm pretty sure it's empty. Surely. Oh no no no. So someone. Oh, who the fuck is this? Someone died. Okay. Well, fuck you. I guess. <laughs> um. So. Uh. Let me just try to. I'm trying to uh, change channels. So let's just go to. This is channel five. Uh. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I think um, all the botters, I, I want to say that most of the botters, the Kana uh, farmer people, have been nuked. Yeah, look, look, there's none. Like, they usually these are really full maps, but they're not. Yeah, this is not even frenzied. The map is not frenzied. Yeah, so, like, I I think a lot of the Kana farmers went to Esfera, which is a map below. It's, like, this area. So, yeah, <laughs> that is what... So you, I don't think you'll see a lot of Forbarion familiars anymore because of the meta shift in Reg Server. So that's fucking crazy. But um, yeah, if you, <laughs> I I'm 90% sure I went over everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, and you know I, you guys know I'm not a. I'm not afraid to go over the controversial topics like red cards, for example, <laughs> or the the mass banning of uh, Kana farmers. If you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to leave a comment feel free or please leave a like because i am sharing my knowledge with you guys as a veteran player of maple story um i've been playing maple story for like this account specifically i made this account like two three years ago like for like two years like consistently so i do i've collected a lot of knowledge on this game talking to people on discord and stuff like that about certain things and i do back check everything i do like I, i'm like 100 percent of the, the stuff that i said in this video is like pretty much factual so i don't ever spread misinformation I may, I may i may have in the past but this is pretty much accurate so 
please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It would really boost me in the algorithm and help my channel. If you have any comments to make, um, leave it down below, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. So, as promised, I will go over the suspicious familiar. Um, <laughs> so you can buy, it's fully tradable, you can buy this. So basically what you would use this for is if, say, let's say, for example, you have like a really rare familiar and you want to make copies of that familiar, but it's a rare familiar, so you can't really, you know. So this is basically just a, um, you can make copies of that if you want to tear it up. So I don't know, it's kind of useless. It's not useless, but it's like, it's for people who like min-max. Um, I don't recommend doing it. It's, it's stupid.